So I know you've all been waiting for this and it's been a bit longer than usual. And the reason for that is I finished the mansion. Well, okay, not the whole mansion, but the central section we've been working on that was the original before it started expanding. So let's play the intro and we'll get to it. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Matt and welcome back to this tutorial series on Green's Mansion from Hermitcraft Season 7. As you have just heard in this episode, we'll be completing this section of the build, the back, front, sides, roof. It is all getting done today. Now, as you can see from the completedness, if that's even a word, of this mansion in front of me, I am recording this after having done the rest of the tutorial and I've got almost 200 clips to get through here. So I may have to split this into two parts, but if that's the case, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you guys wait a week for the second half. It will be out tomorrow if I even have to split it at all. Also, before we start, as always, there will be a list of materials in the description, along with world downloads, which are now for Bedrock, as well as for the Java edition. There are also links down there to my Discord and Twitter, so check those out if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. So the first thing we're going to do in this episode is get some of the walls coming around the side and back built up. So to begin this we want to grab some grey wool and at every corner we want to build it up to the same height as the wall that is on the front here. So we're going to start on this corner just here and we're going to come one block in just behind all of this polished andesite. Build that up until it is the same height, I'm doing awfully like that, the same height as this one here, like that. Come back to this corner, build that corner up to the same height as this, and then do the same on all the corners going all the way around. So this corner, that corner, all of these corners going around here. So that should leave you with a bunch of pillars like this, and I'll just leave this here for a second so that you can see which corners I have done those on. Now once you've got all of these, what you want to do is build up a wall of grey wool between each of them, and you want to do it so that the wall curves down in the middle and curves up at the edges. So rather than do this block for block, which I think will take a lot longer than we actually need to take on this, what I'll do is I'll build that up so you can see what it looks like and then I'll explain the general process of how to make those curves. When you've done all that, it's going to look more or less like this. Now remember for this bit, exact block placement doesn't really matter so long as you avoid just going across in a straight line. Now the way I've done it, if we look at the corner here, is for the first couple of blocks as you come in towards the middle of a bit of wall from that corner you go for the first couple of blocks you go down one block every block you move in then for the next couple you go in two blocks and down one block and in two blocks and down one block again and then you move to going in three blocks and down one block and then you just go across in the middle here and repeat that on the other side and you do that for each of these sections of wall and you end up with these nice little curves. So the next stage with this is to grab some grey concrete powder and on every piece of grey wool that we have here we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten blocks of grey concrete powder on that. So it's ten blocks on that one, ten blocks on those, ten blocks on those and the same all the way around. When you have finished with all of that, you will end up with this 10 block thick layer of grey concrete powder going all the way around that follows the exact same curve as you have built with your grey wool. And to finish off this wool, we're going to grab our cyan terracotta, come into the corner here. We're going to build this up like that until it is the same height oops, as that block right there. Build this up to the same height all the way around the wool except with this wall just here so that section going across there and the same section on the other side we're going to leave off doing any terracotta on that for now but the rest should be the same height as that bit we've just built there the back of your mansion should now look something like this just with the gaps there and over there we're going to come back and deal with those gaps in a moment but first we're going to come over to these front corners just here what we're going to do is we're going to grab some stone bricks and fill in just behind this anvil here with a layer of stone bricks like that. So there should now be two stone bricks above the top of where you have built that sign terracotta to. Switch back to the sign terracotta and along this wall at the edge, build those up to be the same height as those stone bricks. 
And once you've done that, we're going to come along the top two blocks of the sign terracotta, putting on stone bricks on the outside of it, just like this. Once we reach the end, we're going to do the same along this bit of wall here. So we're going to take our sign terracotta, build it up two blocks on top of that to be the same height as the rest of this. And once you've done all of that, we're going to switch to the stone bricks and place them on the outside of those top two blocks. Once you've done that, it'll look like this, and we can go ahead and repeat all of that on this side over here. With both of those sides done, we can go ahead and start filling in these walls that we left this gap in. And to begin this, we wanna take some sand terracotta and build the walls up on top of here, so that from these blocks up here, the wall is a total of 19 blocks high. So for me, that is adding one, two, three, four, five, six blocks on top of that lowest section there. For you, it may possibly be slightly different, so make sure you count those blocks carefully. Once we have our wall at 19 blocks high, we're gonna add one more layer of the sign terracotta blocks along the top, just like this. And once we've done that, we're gonna take some polished andesite stairs and have them upside down, facing out all the way along that top row of blocks. Now switch to your stone bricks and put two blocks on top of each of those stairs. So that will look like that. And you're gonna also want to take stone bricks and put them in each of these corners like this so that the wall kind of zigzags as opposed to just touching out the diagonals. Then you're gonna take some polished andesite blocks and place them up and behind the bricks like this. And on this outside edge, you wanna put three like that, then put one on top of there and have another three. And then the whole rest of the way along, you're only putting twos. Also, when you get to this corner here, having done all of those two across, you'll end up with a little gap here. So we're gonna come around the corner and we're also gonna place a polished andesite block just like that. And then once you have all of those polished andesite blocks placed, you wanna take some polished andesite slabs and place them on the top half of the blocks facing out just like this. Now we wanna build in a couple of windows which are very, very similar to those two we did on the outside over there. So starting from our outside edge, you wanna leave those three and those three blank. And then on this corner right here, build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of stone bricks. Leave one, two, and three of those blank. And then on the next corner here, go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone bricks. Then count across one, two, three, four, five blocks. Leave those all blank. On this corner, do another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and leave another gap of three and another seven on that corner, just like that. Next, come behind them and directly behind each of those eight block tool pieces, build more stone bricks, just like that. And we wanna build more stone bricks behind the seven block one, except rather than directly behind, we're going diagonally and facing in towards the middle. So on that block, build up your stone bricks. And on this block here, build up your stone bricks. Now change back to your sign terracotta. And on this block just here, inside these blocks, build up one, two, three, and four. And on this block here, next to that one that goes behind those ones, build four like that. And we're gonna do the same on this one over here. So there and there, just like so. Now take some stone stairs, place them upside down just like that in front of this piece of terracotta, which is close towards the edge. And like that on the side of the other terracotta and do the same on this one. So just there and just there. And then with some stone bricks on top of this one, place them like that, come across, outward, and on top of there, and do the same on this one. So on there, across, out, and on top of that one. And then switch back to your polished andesite slabs and place them on the top half of those stone bricks we've just placed. So on top of there, there facing out, and on top of those two like that, and same over here. Now before we continue on up with these windows, I figure we can fill in the glass on these ones. So we wanna come over here on the side of this terracotta, place the glass going up like that. Then bring it forward and across to meet up behind this and make sure it has all of this polished andesite 
to be sitting on. And while we're at it, we can do a bit of decoration with our anvils as well. So starting from over here, nearer to the edge, we're gonna place two anvils just like that and bring them across the front of this window and across this gap in between. Do them in front of this window as well and then just one on that side like that. And we also wanna place anvils on top of these slabs up here, so on those four and on these four. So moving on up now, we're gonna start by taking some cyan terracotta and on this edge that's nearer to the outside, build it up so that it is two up behind the anvils here, just one lower than where our stone bricks are. And then on this side, build that up to be one higher than this one. And on the shorter one, we want the stone bricks on top of it, just like that. And we're gonna do the same on this window. Now we wanna take some clay blocks and just next to this shorter one on top of this glass, we want to build them up like that to be level with the top and then come forward on a diagonal. So on top of this bit of glass just here and build those up to be the same height and do the same over here. Then you wanna grab some polished andesite stairs and there's three points that we're putting these on. The first is this block just here. So the top of these stone bricks close to the edge, we want it on the front of that and upside down facing in like that. Then place any block on top of these stone bricks here. It can be any block, we're not gonna be able to see it. And on the side of it facing in, place more polished andesite stairs just like that. And then on top of this block, or sorry, on the front of this block, just next to the anvil here, we're placing it just like that. Again, upside down, facing outwards, and we're gonna do the same with those three as we've done on this one. So that, that, and there. And now there's just a few last pieces of stone brick that we're gonna place before we start putting the roof on this thing. To begin with, we're gonna put them on top of this stairs just here, so that's the one closer towards the center and bring it back from that like that. Place a temporary block just in the middle of these two pieces of clay here with stone on top of it and break that temporary block. Again, place a temporary block in this gap just here with a block on top of it. Break that one and bring it out like that. And then last of all, on the side of this block above this gap here, bring it out to and up just like that. And then once you've done that for both your windows, we can start building our roof. So I'm going to show you how to build the roof on this window here, which is the one closer to the edge. And once we've done that, this one is literally identical to this. Before we start, I've actually missed a polished andesite there. There should also be one just upside down on that block there, pointing towards the outside edge next to this anvil, and do that one as well. So like we did on the other side over there, these roofs are going to be made of dark oak planks. And we're going to start by placing one on the side of this stairs here just towards the outside edge. Bring it down and bring it out like that so you have a two by two square. Then come in behind that stairs, place two like that and two going back so you have another two by two square. Now going up and in one from these, we're gonna build another two by two square exactly like it. So start on top of those stairs like that, go across and up. We're gonna do the same for this one. So we're actually gonna to need to break those two pieces of stone there and go two by two, just like that. Come up and in again. And above these ones facing out, we're gonna do an L shape, just like that. And above these ones, we're gonna do another two by two square like that. And on the front of this L shape, place two blocks, just like so. Then replace this piece of stone or stone bricks rather, with dark oak like that. Put one above it, and then build a two by two square just there like that. And another two by two square if we come in and up, one from this, just like so, with a bit there just filling in that gap. Now we're gonna come around to the inside edge and place some planks on the side of these stairs just here. Bring them out and come down like that. So we have another two by two square like so and then come behind it and one block towards the center of the mansion and build another two by two square like that. Like we did over there, above this one, build an L shape like that. And above this one, we're gonna to need to break that block so we can do another two by two square like that. Then moving up, do two more of the two by two squares like this going from there, so like that and like that. And on this one, just do a two by one. So coming up from the top of that L shape, go up two like that. 
and up to just like that. To finish off the top bit here, we're gonna build up one and just behind this front bit here. And from that, come back two, come one this way in towards the middle of the mansion, back two, one in again, and back two more. And then to put the last finishing touches to the sides here, we're gonna start on this edge, which is the outside edge. Find this second two by two square up like that. Come behind the top half of it and put one coming out like that. Come back and up two like that. And back again, up another two and across one and that should bring you to just here, just below this pit that we had at the top here. And then on the other side, we're gonna start at this bottom one. Come back and up two and back and up two again. Then come into this gap, put a block to place your planks on and come up two like that. Then in this gap here, we're gonna come up two and make a two by two square like that. And again, a two by two square just like that. And then the last little stage in here is to fill in that gap just with a single block like so. So once you've done that exact same thing for both of those windows, it should look a little something like this. And we can then go over here and repeat it. Just remember that when we do it on the other side, it's gonna be a mirror image of these ones. Now that we've got a good amount of work done on the back, I think it's about time we come back to the front here and get some work done on the roof. The first thing we're gonna do is grab dark prismarine blocks, come to the side here and all along this wall, just behind where the sign terracotta is. Starting from this corner here, we're gonna build up one, two, and three. And do that a three by two rectangle like so. Do the same behind this one. And the same way all the way across. Then we get to the back corner here. We're gonna just do a one wide bit like that. And then coming around the corner is the same as over here. We're gonna have our two by three rectangles like this. And then when we get to the end of this wall, let's see how far are we, almost there. When we get to the end of this wall, we have a little corner like this, which we're just gonna cover up like that so that that whole wall looks like this. Coming back around to the front now, we're gonna come in one and up one. So starting from this corner here, we're gonna come up one like that and make that three high. And come behind here as well, having a three by two just like that. And we actually want to connect that to the top there like that. And then come across behind all of these with our three by two rectangles. So that tier should look like that. And then we're coming up and back again. So behind this end, this is actually gonna be a three by three. This time as opposed to a two by three. And then the rest coming across here is a two by three again just like this. Coming up and in again from behind that three by three. We do a two by three just like that and the same for these three but not this end one. So that tier should look like that and this end one we're just gonna do a one wide bit like that. And now for the last part of this front part of the roof, we're gonna come up, go up two by two behind this end one like this and have a block on top of it like that. So it's kind of like this shape. And then the same two by threes that we've been doing behind each of these three. So that there is what the whole of this front section of roof should look like. I'll just leave it there for a second so you can check it against yours. And then when we come around to the side here, we want to pretty much do the same thing along here each time coming in and up one. So like here, for example, we're just gonna fill in so we have our three by two there. Then in front of this one, build up three by two like that. Same for this one. And continue this pattern all the way along. And we're gonna stop when we get to this part here, just so that I can show you how this goes around the corner. There we go. I've continued that pattern of two by three rectangles most of the way across this wall. And now to do the corner, we're gonna come down here we're gonna do a two by three behind that bit and come up behind that bit like that. 
make sure that joins at the corner there. Come up and behind it and do a three by three like we did at the end down there. Then we're gonna do a two by two just inside it like that. So that's two by three even. And then one more to bring it up to the top just like that. And then coming around the corner, we're gonna do the same as we did for this side with the pattern of the two by three rectangles. And we're gonna stop after this one and leave these end two until a little bit later. So that is that section of roof done for now. And before we continue with any more of it, I'm gonna go over and do everything we've done here on the other side over here. Now the next stage of building up this roof is doing the roof area around these windows at the back. And to begin this, we're gonna extend this wall just here a little bit further back into the mansion so we don't end up with a gap at the edge of the roof. So first, actually we're just gonna put a couple on top of that so that bit of wall comes up to the same height as the rest. And we're gonna come back at a diagonal, so just onto this piece of polished andesite here and build that up to the same height as well. And then bring that back one, two, and three blocks and fill that up to the top. Now take your stone brick and put a two by two square just here. Then put two going up there, break that block and replace it with stone brick. And then do two by three going across the top of that bit. To build up the roof itself, we're gonna start from this wall and work our way across. So we're gonna come down to here and put three blocks of dark prismarine going up the wall just like that. And then make a two by three rectangle there and another one here just behind these two anvils. From this one here, come inside the mansion, come up two behind it like that, up two more, and then back and up two. And those last two should just touch the bottom corner of this stone here. The next to each of these, from these two just here, we wanna come up and build a two by two square. Do the same again and the same again. And then do the same behind this one. So two by two square just there a two by two square here, and a two by two square just like that. Place two pieces of stone brick on top of this prismarine just there, and two more next to it like that, with two pieces of dark prismarine next to that stone block. Then come behind, come back, and do a two by two square like that, and one more just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ones and we're gonna follow the same pattern of two by two squares coming up from behind these until it reaches the same height as this one. Now come into the middle and put a two by three rectangle of dark prismarine behind those two anvils and behind these two anvils. And then like we did over here from each of these, we're gonna continue a pattern of two by two squares going up behind each. And on this right hand one, whenever it's touching this, you're gonna have parts where rather than a two by two square, it's only gonna have two like this. And we're gonna continue its pattern up until it is level with these ones over here. So that should look something like this. And now we're gonna do the same once more over here. We're gonna put two next to that, make that into a two by three rectangle like that. And on these two just here. And once more, the same as we did at the end and in the middle, we're gonna continue a pattern of two by two squares, or if it's being overlapped by this, just a two by one like that, up to the same height as all the rest of it. We will then have these three sections of dark prismarine with gaps around the windows here. We wanna fill in these gaps by continuing this diagonal pattern of the two by two squares wherever there's a gap. So like for example here, there's just one block there to fill in this gap. Here, we're gonna put a block and come up to like that. Here, we're gonna do a full two by two square and continue that up to the top and so on until this gap is filled up and the same with this gap over here. So once you have your finished section of roof, it'll look a little bit like this and be sure to have a good thorough look around all sides of these windows because it is quite easy to miss the occasional gap. Now once you've done that, we're gonna come over here to this section of roof. We're gonna put three blocks of prismarine on top of that bit of terracotta there and put a bit of terracotta just next to it, like so. Then behind that bit of terracotta we've just placed, just in here, we're gonna build up 
three more pieces like this and close off the gap along the top like that. Then behind here, we're gonna place a two by three rectangle like that. And at that diagonal, another one just like that. And then to fill in this gap here, we're gonna place one, two, and three just like that so that this finishes one block below where this is. To start this corner off here, building it up to the top, we're gonna to put a two by three uh, rectangle just like that, like that and around to the side another one at 90 degrees to it just like so. Put a rectangle on this side like that. On this one, just on this block here, so one block in at a diagonal from this bit, build up three like that with then three here to fill in that gap and another two by three rectangle just around the corner like so. Then from that one we've just done, do another two by three like that, come back around the corner and fill this gap in just there like so. And we can finish off this section by doing a last two by three rectangle at the top there like that. Now before we connect this up across this side here, we wanna finish off this corner at the front. So we're gonna come down to here. And where we have this bit of corner here, we're gonna put another three there like that and turn this one into a three by three square just like that. And then these top two are simple. They are both just two by three rectangles like this. Now what we should be able to do, we can start from either end, is continue the diagonal pattern of two by three rectangles like we've done for this side over here. And assuming that everything has been done correctly, when we do it from here, if we do a diagonal line of two by three rectangles coming like this, this should meet up with these ones, the next here should meet up with these ones, and so on and so forth. And there we go, once you've got that, it'll look like this. Now we can't quite fill in this lower section of the roof just yet, but what we can do is fill in the top here. So you'll have this big gap in the top of the roof like this, which we're just gonna fill in all with dark prismarine. So there we have a completed section of roof, and we can now go ahead and build the tower on this. So at the front here, we're gonna put some polished andesite just there behind the top of this across two, two more, and one there, and then put one more on top of each of those that we've just placed. We then wanna turn this into a square where each side looks like this. So we're gonna come around here, put two, two, and one, two, two, and one, two, and two, and then go back around and put a second layer on top of all of those. Come behind each of these corners and build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks of regular stone like that on each of them. Then at the bottom of each of these, just behind the polished andesite here, connect them with a one block high layer of the stone just like this. On each side, on this corner of stone, put a stone slab, so like that, 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 and like this. And then on these blocks, on either side of it, so there and there, and on the other sides as well, build these up to be the same height as these pillars we've already done. And then once you've done that, at the top of each of these gaps, build down one, two, and three blocks with the stone just like that. That will leave you with a three and a half high gap in each of the walls, which is the windows in this tower. And we're gonna fill up the backs of those with some black concrete just like that, and do that on all four of these windows. To add a bit of decoration to this tower, we're gonna take some cobblestone walls and one block below the top of the window here, we're gonna put cobblestone wall just there and just there and do the same on all of the walls. We're also gonna place cobblestone wall on each of these corners just like this. We're then gonna take some smooth stone slabs and place them just there above the tops of each of the windows. And once we've placed these first slabs, on either side of them and half a block down, we want another slab, so a slab there and a slab there and the same on all four of these sides. Moving up, we wanna grab some polished andesite and put it all the way around the outside edge of the top of the tower, just like this. Then underneath 
that polish down the site we've just placed, take some polish down the side stairs, and in the middle above the windows, place them upside down facing that way, and upside down facing that way on each of the four walls. Then come up to the top and switch back to your full polished andesite blocks and on top of all of this stone place an andesite block or polished andesite block even just like this. This will leave you with a 3x3 three three square gap at the top here which we're going to fill in with stone just like this one block below where that polished andesite is. Next take some stone and on each of these corners just here build up two blocks of stone just like this with some smooth stone on top of it and some stone bricks on top of that. Then connect all of that up by placing polished andesite blocks on top of it in the same orientation as these polished andesite blocks down here. So one on top of each of the stone bricks and then three that way, three that way and so on. Once you've done that, we want to surround the top half of all of these polished andesite blocks with dark prismarine, just like this. This is dark prismarine slabs we're using here. Then come below any one of those prismarine slabs, place a temporary slab and bring it out. You'll have to break this one and remake it. And then come around the whole outside like this. Now we don't actually want these corners on it, but I think the easiest way to do this section is to bring the whole thing around and then once you have completed this part of the roof with your prismarine slabs we can then go back around breaking all of these corners just like this. Once you've done that it'll look a little something like this and we can then switch to full prismarine blocks. We're going to start off by putting two prismarine blocks on top of all of this polished andesite. Once you've got that it'll look like this. We're then going to find this block here on each wall and build up two there like that come around two like that two like that and two like this and then in this block in between them build up another two blocks two blocks like that two blocks like that and two blocks like that which will give us a plus shaped gap left in the top here last of all to finish off this bit of roof we're going to build up two from each of these corners like this and lastly, two in the center there, and we're gonna stick a cobblestone wall on top with some iron bars coming out of the very tip of it. Just like that. Now, if you haven't already, this is a good point to pause over here and repeat everything that you've done for this section of roof and this section on this side. Well, with both of these done, it is starting to look a little bit more complete, but there is, of course, more to do. And we're going to start the next section by building up the towers that go kind of just behind these ones about here. 